Okay, so I'm actually uploading the video on Cube Browser right now, and there's something I realized you might be interested in, just because this might be, you know, this might solve some problems you might have had before. Um, so here's my, here was my dilemma a couple days ago. So I mentioned that I like to keep um, Ranger and Cute Browser in sync in terms of what kind of folder shortcuts both of them have. Um, and I also like to keep, uh, you know, let's say I like to comp I like to keep my Ranger shortcuts and my uh, Bash shortcuts in sync. So for example, here on the right, I have uh, a bunch of, this is just a file, and I just have things written here. Um, so I have, these are the keys that in Ranger and Bash um, automatically go to uh, configure different config files. Uh, and here are the config files on the right. And on the left side, here I have um, all the different folders that I use. Uh, and their corresponding shortcuts. Again, you know, all of if I go to Ranger and I press like go to this series of characters, it'll go to these um, different folders so I can operate in them. So a couple days ago, I made these files because um, I wanted a way to sort of synchronize all the different shortcuts and all the different uh, uh, programs that are using them. Uh, so what I did is I wrote this little script, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, where is it? Yeah, shortcuts.py. Uh, it's written in Python, and how this thing works uh, is pretty simple. Now, first off, uh, I have a Ranger config, uh, but it's not actually the main Ranger config. What I mean is, if you if I go to my Ranger folder, I actually have an RC conf and an RC base, and what the base is is everything I need for Ranger except for the keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to put in. Uh, same thing with my bash rc. I have like a a base bash rc before I have all the all the shortcuts. And what I have is I have this script. Um, it goes through these two different files and it reads them and it makes shortcuts out of them. Uh, so what I what specifically it does is so it open opens up different files. It opens up the cute browser uh, base config and maps it to a variable. Uh, opens up the ranger config, maps it to a variable, opens up bash rc and maps it to a variable. And what it does is it takes these files, well it first takes this one, and it goes down every single line. And what it does is for every single line it makes a shortcut in the configs for both files uh, that is specific to whatever program. So of course the syntax of ranger and cute browser is different, uh, and bash. Um, but what it does is it reads H, so for example, well literally what it does for bash is it ma uh, for each line it goes to, it says alias uh, plus line zero, which is that, uh, equals uh, change directory to line, uh, the, the first variable here, so that would be uh, over here, uh, and ls say, uh, so it shows the file, so if I just type um, H for move home, it shows these files. If I press D for documents, it uh, does the same thing. And if I open Ranger, it does the same thing as well. Right? Go to documents, now I'm in documents. Um, so really, what a, just long story short, what the script is doing is it's going through this series of folders, and for each of my programs, it's making new, it's like putting uh, this raw material in the syntax of three, three different programs. So I have all of them synchronized at the same time, all the time. Uh, and then it does the same with these over here, the different config shortcuts. Uh, so for example, if I open bash and I press uh, CFB, that opens my bash config. There it is, now I can access it in the terminal. Or let's say I'm uh, in Ranger at the time and I want to do the same thing, CFB uh, gets there automatically. Um, so yeah, and all that is doing, the, I mean, the re where that comes from is that just this file, would it, which is appending all of these new uh, shortcuts to the config files, and that's all it is. Um, so a lot of, um, let's see what else. Uh, so you can use a script like this um, to keep in sync, like let's say you're, let's say you use both, both bat, uh, bash and Z shell. You can keep your shortcuts in sync by sort of having a script like this that reads a common file and uh, makes like new bash and new ZH, uh, ZSHRC out of it. Uh, so that's all I've done. So now I don't, whenever I want to add a new shortcut, so let's say, um, 
Let's get rid of this for now. Let's say, for example, I want to have a new working directory, and I want to map it to W. And let's say it's you know just work. That's it. Uh, let me actually make the folder. So now it's just in my home directory. Um, now uh, how I run the script is actually it's in my i3 config. Um, so at the very bottom, I have it. Every time I refresh i3, it runs the script, so it renews all the shortcuts. So I'll just restart i3 right now. Uh, so now, um, in, let's say I'm in Ranger. I go. I can say go capital W. Here I am. Or let's say I'm in Bash. I press W. Um, now I'm in that folder. Or even in Qt Browser, if I'm uh, if I need to download something, I just press semicolon capital W, and it'll download it to that file. So that's how I keep all of these different configs in check. I just have I really I have the base files in one file, and then I have a script that reads this raw material and translates it into th the three different kinds of syntax of the different uh, 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 programs. So yeah, I'm gonna put this up. Uh, it, I mean, obviously you might not use Cube Browser or whatever, but this is the general idea. I think is pretty implementable for anyone. Um, uh, who have who want to keep like your config files and uh, sort of sync? So yeah, this is just a little video just for your for your info. So hopefully it's helpful.